it's really kind of a, an unnerving problem to have, you know, to live in this like beautiful lakefront wilderness area and then have my family and children are somewhat afraid to go outside because they know that they're gonna get these rashes. I think if I allowed one of the nests to stay on the trees, it would completely kill the tree. It would eat every last leaf on the tree and, and you know, within a year or two, it would be dead. You could use hundreds of these things in the air, you know, flying. I'm Eben Mann, the licensed arborist, and uh, today we're trimming some brown tail moth nests. Having more brown tail moth cutters in the area would help a lot more people. Me as a retired individual who does this as a occupation to make a little bit of cash and keep myself busy, I cannot keep up with demand. So there's more than enough work out there. So the Deleve sampling tool, it's got a little Dremel cutoff wheel on it and a kind of a small mini grapple. And above that apparatus, there is a camera that allows you to see the clasping arms and the cutter blade are located so that you get in the vicinity of a nest, target the branch that the nest is on, and one push of a button. It reaches up and grabs the limb, cuts it off, and then carries it away from the tree so you can drop it and collect the nest. The whole tool hangs on a fiberglass rod, so there's some places you snap together, and then you put a battery in and attach it to your drone and away you go. It's not complicated at all, really, because you never have to use the two remotes at the same time. The camera on the drone is disabled, so there's no information coming back to me through that. Schools, golf courses, daycares, places like that, those are all things that come to mind. There was business. Anybody that's got oak trees around their house or you know, if there's an area that you're outside a lot in the summertime. I have a, a small apple orchard, you know, probably about 15 trees, and there are a lot of pests that seem to enjoy eating the, the leaves of the apple trees and the brown tailed caterpillars are probably one of the worst. When I first found out about the capability of a drone with a deleted sampling tool, I immediately called the closest guy to us to come out and look at the property. I did a project last year for the State Parks Department for the state of Maine, doing some of the areas where people walk a lot and we're getting you know, rashes from the brown tail, so we were able to help them with that. Many of the people that I have clipped nests for are delighted when they find an option that doesn't require the pesticides. It's bad for environments in general, but particularly living this close to the lake, which is you know, a, a sensitive ecosystem. To put those chemicals in here, you know, it's gonna have untold effects. So when I found out that you could do this with a sampling tool, it just seemed to make so much more sense. There's been a huge satisfaction and relief in the, for the customers that we've worked for. Anybody that's in the area that's been surrounded by brown tail and wants to do this can certainly get into it. Outreach Robotics would have given me as much help as I needed. They would do it online. If you went up and visited them, they'd take you into their lab and work with you there. I did that once. The support was there and as much as needed in whatever format was best for you. So the more people that adopt alternative methods like the deleted sampling tool, the better off we're gonna be. I think we could probably have 100 guys with drones and sampling tools in this area and they might be able to keep up with the problem.